Good morning. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your Sunday. We also have your border busters coming up. First, our top story. Minnehaha County authorities have arrested a suspect who barricaded himself inside of a home north of Brandon after allegedly pointing a bow and arrow at vehicles driving by. Deputies responded to the area Saturday afternoon for a report of a domestic assault involving a firearm. During the standoff, the suspect allegedly shot arrows and threw liquids at the SWAT vehicle that responded. Authorities arrested 53-year-old Chad Allen Ochterberg on several charges, including aggravated assault domestic and aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer. Authorities say Ochterberg was alone at the time of the standoff. We're learning new information about a crash on the east side of Sioux Falls we first told you about on our news Saturday morning. Police have arrested a 26-year-old Sioux Falls man in connection with Friday night's crash at 10th and Cliff. Police say officers were pursuing the man who was driving a stolen vehicle when he drove into the intersection and caused the crash. Police say the man then ran from the scene but was caught a short time later. The suspect is facing several charges, including possession of a stolen vehicle, eluding law enforcement, and felony hit and run with an injury. We do not know the extent of injuries to others who may have been involved in the crash. A crash north of Beersford has killed one man and seriously injured another. It happened Friday afternoon when a tractor pulling a trailer collided with a car at an intersection. The car caught fire and the tractor rolled. The 74-year-old man driving the car died at the scene. The 26-year-old driver of the tractor was thrown and taken to the hospital. The cause is under investigation. People across Kelloland have been rallying around an Aberdeen family after they received difficult news about their little boy. Charlie Morano, who's only 15 months old, was recently diagnosed with a rare form of brain cancer. Little Charlie's parents say just a few weeks ago he was a happy and calm toddler. But then they began to notice symptoms like his eye drooping and irritability. So they took Charlie to the doctor. The family was then airlifted to the Sanford Children's Hospital in Sioux Falls, where they've been for the last two weeks. Doctors there discovered he had a rare and aggressive form of cancer that attacks the brain and spinal cord. We've just been here ever since. The last few weeks have been, been a roller coaster for us trying to search for answers. Um, the medical team here has been diligent and persistent trying to figure out what is going on um, with our son Charlie. And in the last few days, that's, that, that picture has kind of become a little bit more clear as to, as to what um, he is facing and kind of what the road looks like ahead. Joel's brother Doug began a GoFundMe account for Charlie last week, so far raising nearly $40,000 in donations. The family plans to continue Charlie's treatment at Fairview Children's Hospital in Minnesota. Let's get our first look at the forecast now. Meteorologist Adam Runt in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry, and good morning, everybody. This Sunday morning has been a cool one, a comfortable one, and just very in general, about as close to perfect as you could get as we head toward the final days of August. There's Falls Park with the runners in the Sioux Falls Marathon sneaking their way through the paths and going along the marathon route. It has been a perfect day for a run, whether you're going 26.2 miles or even just one mile for that matter. You can't go wrong. 62 with northeast wind at three miles per hour. And we're going to stay very pleasant as we head through the day, though not as cool as yesterday. I do think we get into the 80s with a little more room to spare this time around. 52 in Worthington this morning, 57 here on 60 for Pierre, 63 Rapid City, also 60 for Pine Ridge as well as Custer, 64 Mulbridge and Buffalo, 66 in Spearfish, but at 50s out to the east including Watertown and Brookings at 56, 58 in Aberdeen. Winds are light, 5 to 10 miles per hour for now out of the south, but that's going to turn to the north as we go into your day on Monday. We have a few small chances for rain, not for everybody, and there are going to be a few and far between in general. We'll talk about that as we go through your forecast in a little bit. All right, thank you very much, Adam. Well, people in Vermilion took part in a ribbon cutting Saturday to celebrate the opening of new seven galleries of the National Mu Music Museum inside the original Carnegie Library. The exhibit features some of the finest instruments in the museum's collection and uses stories, sound, and interactive displays to show how people are shaped by music. The public can begin exploring the new galleries this Wednesday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We'll also show you even more of the museum and look at its history in an eye on Kelloland, which airs Wednesday night at 10. Meanwhile, tonight's Eye on Kelloland will give you a behind-the-scenes look at Eye on Kelloland. 
These in-depth stories have been a viewer favorite of our newscast since the early 1990s. We'll show you the teamwork it takes to put together each Eye on Kelloland coming up tonight at 10. Augustana Lutheran Church and Pueblo del Dios are hosting a block party and fiesta from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the church located on North Prairie Avenue. There will be an outdoor worship in both Spanish and English at 11 a.m., followed by Latin American food and entertainment. Fiesta goers can also meet members of Sioux Falls Police and Fire Rescue who will also be at the event. The Corn Palace Festival wraps up today in Mitchell with Phil Baker Kids Show at noon, amusement rides and face painting throughout the afternoon, plus free performances by the Mitchell Children's Choir at 2 o'clock, followed by Billy Lurkin at 2.30. The South Dakota Rock and Roll Hall of Fame band Something New will perform a farewell concert today in Hartford. The free performance will be at 2 p.m. at the City Park in Hartford. Enjoy live music plus South Dakota wines during Sunday in the Vineyard at Brandon's Wild Prairie Winery. The featured performer is Landon Weiss from 2 to 5 p.m. It's an evening of gospel music and fellowship at Abiding Savior Free Lutheran Church in Sioux Falls. It all begins with a hymn sing at 5.30, followed by a concert with Liberty Quartet at 6. A free will offering will be taken to support the quartet's ministry. The Canaries baseball team takes on the Lincoln Salt Dogs at Sioux Falls Stadium. First pitch is at 2.05. And enjoy a night of outlaw sprint car and late model street stock racing at Houston Speedway in Brandon. Admission is $20 for adults, $10 for students, and free for ages 12 and under. The gates open at 4.30, hot laps are at 6.30, and the races start at 7.30. Adam? Well, as we go through Futurecast, we are going to keep an eye on one area out to the west and southwest where we have showers and thunderstorms not out of the question as we head through the afternoon as well as the evening. So keep that in mind. A rapid city points south and east even as we head into the first part of your evening. Overnight tonight, we'll be doing pretty well for ourselves as high pressure takes over again on both sides of the river. And moisture is going to be pretty hard to come by as we head through the next several days. One small thing to watch Monday afternoon. A couple of models trying to bring in a few very isolated sprinkles up to the northeast. But I think that's going to be an exception to the rule. And we're going to stay mainly dry, not just through Monday, but really through the next several days as we take a look at our time frame beyond Monday and Tuesday. Notice I'm just rolling through Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday, there just isn't much of anything going on. By Friday, however, that changes a little bit. And I do mean a little bit. There is a small chance for a couple of showers as we go into Friday afternoon and evening. Not amounting to too much, but it's the only real opportunity we get to talk about rain in central and eastern Kello land. As we head toward Labor Day weekend, it is going to stay mainly dry and it's going to get warmer too. Today, 80s East River, 80s and low 90s out west, especially in central and south central Kello land. And again, a couple of showers and thunderstorms are possible out toward the hills and then points south and east later in the day. Overnight lows falling into the upper 50s and low 60s under partly to mostly clear skies. And the rest of your seven day forecast is going to be mainly quiet, but we are also going to be a progressively warm getting back into the 90s by Labor Day weekend with that one chance for rain on Friday in Sioux Falls in the form of a couple of scattered showers. For Aberdeen, mainly dry beyond a few isolated sprinkles on Friday, starting off in the low to mid 80s and getting up into the upper 80s and low 90s by the end of the week. For Pier, 92 and a couple of sprinkles today and again on Friday and we'll stay in the upper 80s to low to mid 90s with the exception of Tuesday. You'll be at 85 for high temperature. Rapid City has a couple of thunderstorms in the forecast today, especially later in the day. Then you're mainly dry starting off in the 80s Monday and Tuesday. We'll have a couple of days in the 90s Wednesday and Saturday being examples of that. But overall, you're dry and pretty quiet outside of today. Have a great day, everybody. For more on your local news, weather, and sports, you can always head on over to kelloland.com.